it's Noob. In this video, I'll be showing you my 48 volt solar panel system. In the last episode, you watched me put my solar panels on the roof. In this episode, I will be connecting them to my solar controller. And uh, I'll also be hooking up my inverter slash charger with my generator. So if you're looking for a tutorial, look in the description. If you're looking for the story of how I did it, just watch this. Check it out. Sun Gold Power, Pure Sine Wave, Combined, Inverter, and Charger. Very excited about the charger part. We're going to be able to hook our generator up to this thing, and it's going to charge our batteries. Um, we got uh, right here a... Uh, these should be connectors for our solar panels to combine them all because this is a 48 volt inverter and we're on a 12 volt system right now. This is going to help us to make it a 48 volt system. All right, guys, we're about to be opening up the inverter. So I have got to see what is going on with it, figure out. Mostly need to know what kind of cables it came with because we need to either get more cables or use these. Figuring that out now. Another panel of wood. More styrofoam. More wood. Styrofoam.
so here it is the solar controller the inverter the battery bank it's all already wired up but i am going to walk you through how it's wired uh so that way you might be able to set one up yourself um maybe in the same way we did it or maybe just take some inspiration so we got this is a total of 12 batteries here there are um, one two three and four in series and then these sets of four are in parallel um and they're all connected to this thing on opposite ends so here and here it's connected to this and then this guy is charging it on the opposite ends there and there um so this thing is uh It is very important that, I don't know if all solar controllers work this way, but it's probably a good rule of thumb, that you should never ever have the solar panels hooked up without the battery hooked up, because then the solar panels will be putting energy into this, and it will have nowhere to send it, and it will fry it. So you have to uh, be careful with that. The way that we did that is we put a clip right on the outside of our solar controller, so that way we can just unclick it we never even want to do anything with the batteries um, that'll keep it safe um, with this there are some really important things you need to know we actually destroyed our refrigerator because we did not know um, but the way that this works is this side these three are the input and these three are the output so you put in 220 like the same thing that your dryer runs off of probably um and you you wire that in here um with the white one going to this one the black one going to this one and uh the green one is not necessary uh you could connect it to the ground but i don't think that you have to or necessarily should so just leave it um concerning your output this is the part that's important it puts out 220 if you try to wire your thing like this this cord has three cords coming off of it right so you put this and this and this and this which we did not do obviously all of the white ones go here one black one here like this one's black one goes here and a separate one this this is a different cord this one this black one goes to the other one um, because what's actually happening here is one, t one or one tens coming off of this and one tens coming off of this and nothing is really coming off of this. This is the neutral. So if you try to wire it to this, this, and this, you're going to be getting 220 because one ten plus one ten is 220. So you have to wire one to this and a separate one to this. If you're wiring it to a breaker box, uh, that changes things. But in our case, we've just got extension cords. So, um, you should, uh, read up on how AC works before you try to endeavor in wiring your AC inverter. Um, this one makes it easy over here, the 12 volt one, because it just has, here, let me go over to that side. This one makes it easy because it just has plugs on it. So, it, uh, those things right there could have very well been... AC output um, for the purpose of like hooking to your breaker box but we never got to figure that out it doesn't really matter that much though because this uh, Vivor inverter although it did okay for us um, it was it's uh, the wattage it needs to continue making AC power even if you're not using it at all is like 80 watts and that's huge it's a ton of power total waste our giant one over there only uses 40 in theory so um so yeah that's most of it there's a few other things to address concerning the sun gold power inverter um double check that you're using the right one these uh 
These are lead acid batteries, but not all lead acid batteries are created equal. Sealed lead acid, open lead acid. Um, so know what you have. These are open lead acid because all that's bad. Um, although the uh, this is obviously closed, that's not sealed. You can open it. So this is an open lead acid battery. Um. I think that's pretty much it. Make sure you have a ground rod because there are appliances that won't function without it, such as deep freezes. It's pretty good. We're getting s over 600 watts. Which is uh, about 50% efficiency from everything. Now let's, just, now let's look at the weather. It's pretty overcast, really. So 50% efficiency for this level of being overcast is not that bad. Sun is really bright, though, so... Well, that was our 48-volt system. The next thing that we are going to be doing is fixing our road. Our road is a disaster. Let's go take a look at it. Okay, so this is where we're at. This is, this is the road. It looks drastically different from the last time you saw it, I'm sure. Um, and this is only the halfway point of what it's going to look like in the next video. We have already been working on it for weeks and we're not done because we can't drive across it. Look at those big old holes that we would fall into. What are those black dots? Are those eggs? Oh my goodness, those are eggs. Those are tadpole eggs. That is the freaking coolest thing. Can y'all, is it capturing it? Yeah, it is. Look at that, that is so cool. Holy crap! Alright. Come watch the next video to see how that turns out.